driving back to Texas now from Colorado, thinking about how I know my life's real. I'm pretty sure I do have kids. I told one person that I'm pretty sure was like my daughter. Um, I said, if the sperm ever is not in the vagina, then it doesn't count. Like if I didn't actually have sex, it doesn't count. Um, so that's probably true. Like she's not like actually my daughter, but like it doesn't mean that I don't like have like special affection towards her. Well, I was driving home last night and Staying Alive came on the radio. One time, I thought I was gonna get killed by a bunch of drug dealers or put in jail by the cops. And I thought everyone was, I thought it was a really bad situation for me at one point. And um, I was kind of freaking out a little bit because people were really, really, really screwing with me. And uh, as I was driving home after I, the problem was solved by my dad, Staying Alive played on the radio over 10 times in a row. I don't know, I can't remember the exact number. I, I'm, I'm pretty big on exaggerating, but this time I'm just gonna like not say the number so that I don't exaggerate. Yeah, so it came on that many times. And I was like, I can't believe I'm not dead. Well, it came on last night and I was like, you know what? This little journey that I went on could have gone a very different direction if I died. But I didn't. So congratulations to us. We did it. Wait, I still have to drive like another 700 miles. When I first got back to San Antonio, I had a little trouble adjusting. What is a purpose? What is existence? What is knowledge? What is the goal? Bullshit questions. The real question is, why are dogs possible? I became very religious. To trust in dog is to believe in the existence of something greater than oneself. It is to believe in the existence of goodness of a good dog. I think there's something about um, the national parks telling me that I couldn't have my dog that made me turn to dog. And when I see a dog, I just want to touch her. I want to pet her clothes. Tell her that I love her And when I know a dog I believe the dog knows me And we Are special together Why are dogs so good? You got all these other animals To believe in existence in a dog that is greater than you is to believe in something that makes one greater than oneself. By God, I mean dog. By dog, I mean good. By good, I mean dog. By dog, I mean dog. Ever since I got back, I've been thinking about pursuit of a normal life and what that's gonna mean for me and whether or not I should end this whole internet thing and uh, letting people know I'm crazy or that I appear to be crazy. What I've concluded is that I should just tell you guys, deep down, I'm a normal person and I wanna be normal and I wanna fit in and I wanna be like everyone else, but, um, I also know that there was a girl named Michelle that I used to be in love with and she was my best friend forever. But at the same time, how in the world could I not love Lizzie and Amelia? It's just, that's impossible. One of the biggest reasons I know I'm not crazy is because for a while there I was trying to convince Taylor Swift to be in a relationship with uh, Katy Perry and I, uh, which didn't go over well with her after she sort of broke up with me, um, or she left me for someone else. She came up with a song called Getaway Car, and in the song, she's uh, saying like, you know, a circus ain't a love story, and she's talking about like, how more than one person in a relationship isn't a love story. And the thing is, what is love? 
um, love is a feeling. Um, love is, um, at least true love is unconditional and it's passionate and it's willing to suffer. And it can cause someone to go to great lengths for the people that they love. Thing is, what if being in a relationship with more than one person actually increase the love because you don't reach those stale points because you don't have the loneliness issues that come with dating someone like me who will go to the middle of the desert by themselves and it will make them happy so what if the greatest love is bigger than most people experience you never know what I do know is I'm gonna pursue the life I choose to pursue and my life's real and if my life's real, I'm gonna love who I wanna love. I'm not gonna love who is popular to love. My favorite love story is probably Big Fish. Uh, Big Fish, they meet at a circus and then the main character is willing to go to incredible lengths to try to get the girl because he's so in love with her. So, can a circus be a love story? I think it's a lot better love story than um, a story set during Victorian time. I'm not trying to be like everyone else. If I was like everyone else, I wouldn't be the greatest artist of all time. Tide. Uh, I need some help. I am trying to do impossible things. And doing impossible things is impossible. So what I've done is I brought my crystal ball here to Enchanted Rock in Fredericksburg, Texas and I'm using the pink granite rock to absorb magical energy into my solenite crystal ball and then once it's fully charged I'm going to use my magic to tell Lizzie, Amelia, and Megan that I love them. Hmm. Now that I have my crystal ball charged, I've got the rocks right here. It's beautiful out here. What I have to do now is perform a love spell. Once I perform this love spell, what will happen is there'll be a, well, it's a pretty, it's kind of a bigger chain than a normal love spell, but there will be a chain between uh, the caster and the castees because I'm actually doing a multiple love spell. This is a very difficult love spell. Do not try this at home because if you try a love spell on multiple people at the same time, what you might do is rip your soul apart if you're not experienced enough. First things first. I have to take off my shoes. This blanket's magic. Got it from Sedona, Arizona. I actually stole it. Sorry if I stole your blanket. It was something I thought I was supposed to do. Now that I have removed my shoes, what I have to do now So now the love spell is cast. Anyone who gets in the way of this love spell might get run over by a truck. You know, there's negative magic and there's positive magic. And the thing about positive magic is sometimes it can cause some negative magic. Uh, so if my uh, positive love spell um, interacts with someone who's trying to prevent my love spell, you might end up getting slapped in the face. The thing about magic is you never know what it's gonna do. It looks like I'm back at actual Enchanted Rock, so I guess that means I've reached the end of this movie. Um, I'll just leave you with this. I'm not gonna give up, and I don't care if I never get a job. Um, I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I know it's weird. I know that it's a lot easier to be a normal person, but I gotta try.
after my dad watched Walking Through Needles, he was like, wow, you really came out of your shell. And, you know, in a sense I did, but that's because I'm acting. I'm, I have a character. I'm having fun. Um, I'm trying to entertain. Who am I really? The guy at the state park, you know, Government Canyon State Park. I'm Pootie Tang. I'm actually a lot more quiet than you think. I just want to make something clear. It's never okay to call a gay person a fairy. I know gay people that call like f gay events, fairy events, or like gay locations, fairy things. But that's different than like actually calling someone a fairy. It's worse than calling someone a nigger. So just, I just want to be clear about that. Uh, I met a Blackfeet Indian. He was kind of majestic looking, like. <laughs> Gosh, there's this guy ever used the majestic looking? Um, yeah, yeah, it was very majestic looking. Yes, you were majestic looking to me because you had long Indian hair and you had, you looked like you were like a young chief or like the next chief. Like there's like the older chief, but like you're like the actual chief in charge. But then there's like the older chief who like is in charge, but like he's not actually in charge. because He's old and he's sick. So like the actual chief that's in charge is, is this guy. But he's still like not. But he's not actually the chief. But he's the chief. Everyone knows he's the next chief. That's. I'm going to eat authentic Blackfeet food, and I'm freaking excited about it because who knows what it's gonna taste like? It's probably gonna be pretty plain, but you never know. It might be awesome. Just got done eating some fry bread and some chili. It's the Blackfeet food. It's freaking awesome, and I think I met the actual son of the chief of the tribe and um, he told me about smallpox blankets and how there was like a certain group of people there were like five groups of blackfeet and one of them was the were the warriors that like they like anybody that came across a certain spot they killed them and so he said they gave them smallpox and killed them so that killed a lot of blackfeet indians specifically the warriors so anyways <coughs> <coughs> Now I just ate their food and I'm sitting there going, Ruby, did give me smallpox? Well, I didn't do it. Thing is, like every freaking thing that's ever happened, it's like, well, you, people do this, people, white people do this, white people do this, white people do this. It's like, white people do it, you know, I would like to act like I'm Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin just had a friend that was a slave, but he wasn't even a slave, he was just his buddy. Oh, Ben Franklin was nice, he was in, he was in the slave against slavery society. It doesn't freaking matter. I just want, like, all of history not to be my fault. There are people that traveled with me the entire time. I saw them. I met them. I met two of them, three of them at least. Um, so maybe I'm actually crazy. It's, it's, I'm a rational person, so I do realize that I could be crazy. Um, but I also know that there are a lot of people that think I'm not crazy, uh, probably because of the drugs. I feel like everyone's best friends with my dog. So like, I'm sure like, as my folklore has um, increased, you know, because I'm the artist formerly known as the artist formerly known as you know seven, there are those that know my dog, and there are those that don't. And if you know my dog, it's like, no, no I'm, I'm like actually really close with his dog. Like, I, I'm like, like I, I bet they're like all these conversations. No, like I know his dog. Like, like I, no, I'm friends with her. Like, no, his dog knows my dog. Like, his dog and my dog are like actually like really. No, I, I'm telling like the, that, that dog. Like, that's like what my dog's like. It's like my dog's like P Diddy. So. United States government and I gotta work out some things. I sure do have a good life. <laughs>